Hey guys, so I've got a walk planned today. I'm going to take you up to the U.S. Capitol. We'll see a lot of stuff that's cleared out. But then we're going to walk around, look at some art, and then make our way over to the White House where there's going to be either a motorcade or Marine One is going to come down. But before I do that, I'm at an outlet mall in National Harbor, which is far southern end of the district just over in Maryland. My shoes exploded. When you walk seven miles, seven to ten miles a day for a couple of years, you go through a lot of shoes. So I'm down at this outlet mall, we're gonna grab some new shoes and then we're gonna go for a hike. I know he's going to Delaware later. Well, if that's the big one, I never take the big one to Delaware. Maybe just a training mission. Hmm. Nope, wrong color. As you could probably figure out, I'm not wearing blaze blue with orange stripes. Anyway, quest continues. Gotta find them somewhere else. President's helicopters are right over there. There's three of them right now. Probably anticipation of this afternoon's flight, if they're gonna fly to Andrews. Or we might motorcade. So this area is known as the Navy Yard. This used to be a Navy Yard. And then they let some of the buildings go to private redevelopment. And they built a baseball stadium down here. Now there's a lot of cool shops and restaurants down here, including a shoe store in that building right there. We have new shoes. So what happens when I watch K-pop videos for breakfast. Decide I want a Korean taco for lunch. Went to Ta Korea and we got some Korean style tacos, which are always really good. You gotta watch out for streetcars too. They do have trolleys running on this track here on 8th Street Northeast. There we go. Why buy one when you can buy two for twice the price? And that's what I did. When you walk this much, you need to rotate shoes every other day. is open and there's Mustang Medic. He's going to be reporting this too on his channel. Hey, greetings from Louisiana and Constitution Avenue. This is Constitution in front of me and that's Louisiana over there. And last night uh, in the dark of night they came out and pushed the fence back. They removed all the fence that was closing off Constitution Avenue and reopen this street to traffic, which is a pretty big deal for Washington DC folks because it lets you get from the National Mall over to the train station uh, relatively easily without having to go stop and go through all these little back streets. So this part of the fence has been removed and we've got reports that as early as tomorrow, they're gonna remove another big section over on that side, which will also enable a, a corner detour around the Capitol building. So little by little, they're removing the fence. It's not all gone yet. They did put the razor wire back on. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you, they actually have a secondary fence. So there's this outer fence where I'm trapped. And then you can see up along the, up Capitol Hill there, and then over there, there's a second fence. So even when they probably remove this outer fence, they're gonna keep that inner fence for a little bit longer. C'est la vie. No decoys.
I had just tuned in about as much as I could. I had to just break up the video on it. So we are zoomed in. This is what the zoom is. I can zoom out. Oh, hang on. Here it goes. It's closing the road. It's taking off. It's going to come right over your head. Oh. It's alright. You're fine. Thank you. 